post-punk acts as diverse as Sydney's Mental as Anything, Melbourne's Bad Seeds and Perth's Triffids created a total aesthetic package that involved the look, the gesture and the surrounding media, and especially the relationship with the audience. They thought of themselves as performance artists in an almost avant-garde way. Like the old avant-gardes, many were first recorded by a small independent label that surfed the new wave that followed punk such as Regular or Go Go and Phantom, often set up by the band's mates. Wary of mass rock festivals and stadium pageants, these musicians wanted a more intimate relationship with audiences who contributed to the band's evolving art by publishing DIY fanzines, producing public radio shows, writing reviews for the emerging music street press, directing video clips, helping with record covers and posters, and loyally turning up to gigs in small raucous pubs every weekend to dance, or just sway with a look of discerning connoisseurship, lest they be thought uncool. My name's Tony Moore. My latest book is Dancing With Empty Pockets, Australia's Bohemian Since 1860, and I'm with the Melbourne Writers Festival and also an academic at Monash University where I teach media. My book is a tour de force of Australian bohemian artists, writers, filmmakers, media operatives, scammers, hacks, from the 1860s, mid 19th century, basically through to today. Well-known names and icons, but I look at them when they're iconoclasts, when they're making trouble, when they're on the margins and fighting for their way to change Australian culture. We're going to be taking patrons of the Writers' Festival to relive uh, Australia and Melbourne's bohemian heyday. We'll see where uh, the the rambunctious lefty radicals of the Great Depression drank and will relive some of the heady days of uh, the 1960s and its beat clubs.